I'm going to share a little belt knowledge with you today. Before we get started, don't forget, we sell the best belt on the planet. I'd like for you to subscribe to our videos if you would. After you subscribe, ring that bell as they say, click it and select all, and then you'll get notifications when we make a new video. All right, today's topic is measuring for belt wear amongst different brands of belts and how you cannot do that. So, and this is applicable to Can-Am, Polaris, Yamaha, it doesn't matter the brand of vehicle. What matters is, is what you're measuring and what are you comparing it to. Now, without me digging through the specs and every vehicle, every brand is going to have something a little different. We're just going to use some arbitrarily numbers right here, okay? And we're going to use inches since we are still in the United States. Uh, so, and these will you, but there is no belt that's actual dimensions, and there's certainly no wear this much. It's just for ease of understanding. I guess you got to explain it, and ain't that easy. Now, right. however, let's say a belt, a Polaris or Can Am, doesn't matter, whatever brand, if it is brand new and its width is one and a half inches, and the spec says, when you get to one and a quarter inches, replace the belt. All right, so a quarter inch of wear, replace a belt for wear. Where is it telling you to measure it? Well, they want you to measure it with a set of calipers at the top of the belt up here at the cog. FYI, you need to, if you're gonna do that, you need to kind of get in line like this and measure it. And I'm trying to hold it up here and do it, but right along like this and measure it, and you go, all right, now then, here's the trick. All right, so Polaris's cogs, and I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see. I think this is actually our belt. Yes, this is a much wider belt. This is a turbo belt, but I don't know if I can zoom in close enough for you to see, but I'll, I'll give you a description. These top cogs are ground when they make them continuing out at an angle. Our Hunter Works belt on the tip of the cog is ground 90 degrees. All right, other brands do something very similar. I don't have another one on top of my desk. All right, well, if we had the exact same vehicle's belt sitting here, then ours might measure an inch and a quarter to start with. And a guy said, well, your belt's already wore out. No, sir, because you're going off this top cog width on both, and mine's narrow because we make a different top cog. It's not just Hunter Works, this could be Gates, G Boost, whoever. The point I'm making is do not compare what your manufacturer says on that because top cog are different. All right, FYI. What is the same is, is, is this where you measure on the cord. That's an actual width of a belt is measuring at the cord. Okay, if you wanted to know and you say, well, that's a terrible example with that big turbo belt, but something more closer here. Go, hey, you're right. Your belt and my belt is exactly the same width at the core. Yes, sir. So, if you wanted to go to the trouble of keeping up with it, well, measure your whatever other brand belt the day you get it, on the works, you boost, gates, whatever, measure it. Go, aha, it is an inch and a quarter. So, if a quarter of an inch is considered worn, well, when I can measure three quarters of an inch, I know that my belt is worn and I need to replace it. Very simple. So basically, what I'm telling you is you can't compare each brand of belt by measuring at the top cog because each brand is going to have a different measurement there. All right, so do not go by those specs. The, the quarter inch I mentioned is probably going to still be accurate. It's just that your starting dimension is what's going to be different amongst the brands. So hope that clears this up. Make sure you check Hunter Works belt out. Subscribe and ring the bell if you got any questions. Give us a call here at Hunter Works.